Howdy folks, welcome to episode 9. Today we're going to continue on our mission to go get a, a, oh I need to turn this on, to go get a, a POI. And so in order to do that, I hope we can get this going before the radiated fog gets us. But yeah, let's see. Oh, I need to put more O2 in the tanks too. Let me see. Not that, not that this is something I even need to do right now. So let me do this before the radiated fog kicks in and gets big. I suppose and let me see here because I'm gonna have to get it in my ship at that point so one of the things we got multi boost so I'm gonna put an extra one on and the other thing we need to do here is we need to get the weapons crafted now I don't remember if we crafted the actual launchers I don't think I don't think we crafted launchers yet so I don't think I did that because I think I wanted to wait for the ship to be ready and or for our 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 supplies to to be ready so we're gonna do let's see small vessel rocket launcher there's gonna be 130 okay so we're gonna do four of those and then we need 130 millimeter missiles so let's get 130 millimeter it should be the blue ones there we go okay still the same all right so 60 120 180 240 it should be plenty Let's see, we'll get these put on the ship. What is my... Now, I did pick up heavy armor also. Let me see, what is our radiation? What is, where is it? Radiation protection, 16. What is our current? Our current is 8. So we're going to see how the radiated fog does. If it gets really bad, then we will just switch to the heavy armor so that we're not taking radiation damage. But yeah, let's see if we can get this thing... Let me see... It's doing that old thing where, and I think they stopped doing it for a while, but it's doing that thing where it, um, let me see, we're going to put them like this and this on top of it. Yeah, but it's it's doing that old thing where it, uh, it here, it gives you uh, momentum coming out of the ship. Is that the same? Yeah, that's the same on both sides. But yeah, if you jump into the, if you get into the ship like this, you step out and it's fine, but if you're... Let me show you. If you're like moving really fast as you jump into the ship, so let's say we're going like this. Now when I get out, I'm going to be moving off to the side. See? It, it keeps your momentum. And it can really screw you up and it's it's really bad in space. If you get out in space and you don't have your jetpack on, you just start flying away from your ship really fast. It's pretty crazy. But yeah, we're going to color this in while we give that stuff time to craft. And it should also give me a chance to put the tent down. Maybe it'll get this radiated fog to go away quicker if it advances the clock. So let's see here. And I could probably even grab some oxygen. Let me see. You know what? I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to grab oxygen because I don't need it right now. I'm going to grab some food. I'm going to eat a pizza. Mmm. Yum. Okay. So we've got we've got 240 of those. We're going to put this back me see yep it is now night we're gonna put the tent down and see if we can advance time enough there we go see if maybe we can yeah see it did it gave the radiated fog time to go away so now it's just gonna be cloudy instead of radiated fog hopefully that'll do us a little bit better so the other thing I wanted to do here is go in the ammo box we're gonna take out this and we're gonna put it in here. So here's the thing is, <laughs> the reason I'm doing this is because um, we kind of, um, oh, you know the other thing I wanted to do before I do this? Because we have enough cobalt and stuff. So I wanna make an assault rifle tier two. So let's do that. Let's take our assault rifle, we'll put it in here and we'll make a tier two. We should be able to now. There we go, much better. But yeah, one of the other things um, that, I, so this, the config has been evolving. Let me just put it that way. Uh, the, the config for this, for this series, I've been evolving it as, you know, I notice, I play things and I'm like, hey, this would be better with this and stuff. So yeah, um, there's a few things that have changed since I put up the original version. And actually, now that we are in build 1732, if you look up in the upper left, 1732, um, let me see. Let me get a marker put up here first, and then I can talk while I'm 
while I'm going. We're going to go down to this one. We're going to try the armory. So, but yeah, with with build 17.32, the config file changed enough that it's actually um, a problem. If you keep the if you keep the um, same old config, it won't. It'll just give you a continue or quit error. So you do have to delete it and either update all the changes or just you know get rid of it or whatever. So that's a thing. And so I just want to let you guys know about that. Uh, in case you're following along and using the config, all of a sudden your ship doesn't work and stuff. And let me see. Ammo. There we go. We can load these up. But yeah, that's that's a thing. And so I've gone through the config again. And in the process of doing that, I changed a few things again. And so I got these, I got these turrets to work the way I wanted to. Apparently it's just the blast damage that you can change. So it used to be 500. It is now 30,000. Okay. Um, <laughs> and yeah, and the red ones, basically the green and the red ones should be able to one shot your cockpit and basically take out a whole huge chunk of, um, what is my range here? 300 meters. They should be able to take out a very large chunk of the, um, of your ship when they hit it. So th the thing is that they are slow enough that it is definitely not like super impossible to dodge or anything. So the key is do not get hit. Do not let yourself get hit. It's pretty simple. So that's <laughs> that's the way this is set up. And so if you're going to play on this config, you definitely want to keep that in mind. So yeah, see these guys are going to do this. We need to get within 300 meters and not get hit. So I'm going to get up a little bit closer here. Come on. And hopefully we can take these guys out before we get hit. Because like I said, if we get hit, we're going to be dead. So, yeah. Ah! Okay, there's another one, and let's see if we can get in there. Come on. Now, the, the key really here is you want to stay as far at the edge of their range as possible because that gives you more time. Oh, whoa, that was close. I thought I hit him. I thought I hit him. I thought he was gone. I didn't even see that he was still there. Okay, but yeah, that gives you the most time to dodge, and so you definitely want to utilize that. If you do not use that, you're going to die. Okay, so yeah, you definitely want to take advantage of that range and go at the very edge of it. All right, and it looks like... Do we have any shooties out here? I don't think we do, because I'm not hearing them. Okay. Yeah, I am not hearing... I am not hearing the shooties. Okay. So, the other thing I did was I, um... Let me see. <laughs> Sorry. I've got, I've got other... The other things going through my head right now. Alright, trying to multitask. I don't want to multitask in a situation like this. Okay. All right, we're going to do that, and we're going to set down the tent and make it daytime. Is it not daytime yet? It's not daytime yet. Okay, or nighttime, that is. Okay, well, I think we're going to wait, and I'm just trying to figure out if I want to maybe... Let me do the... What was that? That was interesting. That was really interesting. I'm going to put stuff away in the cargo box here. We're going to put away this stuff and even the multi-tool and the fuel. Yeah, we just need a gun. That's all we need. Um, I should probably, you know, I probably should go home and get, I really need to do that. I need to go home and get the rest of my equipment. So my biggest concern was the, was the ship getting killed and all my stuff in it, which is why I don't want to bring a million things with me. So yeah, we're going to head back to base. I'm going to get like my health kits and stuff like that so that I can actually, you know, heal up if I need to instead of basically shooting until I die. So I'm going to do that and I'll be back in just a second. All right, we are back at base. I'm going to grab this stuff here. So one of the other things I did was I went through the drones, all of the drones, and I doubled the damage for everything. Let me see, is that in here? 
it's not in here. Let me see. I wanted these. Yeah, I do want these. And I'm going to use those for health packs. Yep, I'm going to use those for health packs. Um, let me see. I need a couple of these in case I get indigestion eating those. And I think... I think that is the... I think the poisonous bite is from the... Is what the whatchamacallits give you. The bat dog thingies. <laughs> the crawlers. There we go. Okay, so we're going to do this. We're going to stand still. I just need to remember to get back into the habit of standing still before getting into the ship. We're going to put these in here. And should I even should I even grab the big armor? I think we'll just do the big armor too. Just for the fun of it. So let's do this. Let's go switch our armor. And see. Let's see. Because we have... What is our armor value here? Army value 169, 437. Oh yeah, that's way better. So we're gonna do this. We're gonna take these out. We're gonna swap this out. We're gonna put these in here. And that doesn't that doesn't do anything for you, does it? Okay. Nope. All right. So there we go. 488. Oh yeah, that's way better. All right. Cool. Yeah, we're not too much slower. Okay. I was thinking we were going to be super slow because of the heavy armor, but with three multi-boosts, it's not, it's not like really, really, really bad. Because I, ha I hate moving slow. I really hate moving slow <laughs> for combat, I, especially. I, I enjoy the, the first-person shooter, the twitchy, like, quake type uh, action of, of the shooting part of the game. So, yeah, and I had to stop on the way by because the low detail models of those look like they might be the desert golems, and those are the first of those that I would have seen. And I was kind of hoping to see some of those. Uh, what I wanted to do was I wanted to try swapping out their their melee thing with the pink goobers that the whatchamacallits throw. So, you know, <laughs> just for the fun of it. And because uh, I think it would be cool, you know, basically it's like they're throwing boulders kind of thing. But yeah, one of the other things I changed was I did, I think I slowed down the rockets. I'll have to check again. But on the homing rockets that the PUIs shoot, I made them so that um, you can actually dodge them. They are faster, I think, and then non-homing, I think, is the deal with them. But yeah, it's I do not enjoy at all the whole, um, basically the way they were, it's like they might as well be hit scan weapons. And, you know, that you can't, because you basically, you can't avoid them at all. Whenever you're in range, you're just getting hit. So what's the point of even making them anything but hit scan if they're going to... Whoops, I need to turn that on. What's the point of them not just being hit scan weapons if they're going to do that? And so I figured I'd make them, you know, the other way. And instead of having to build a giant tank that... Um, here, we're going to do this. Oh, was it radiated fog again? Instead of having, having to build some ridiculous giant tank that... Um, we're going to put this around the corner from the thing. But yeah, so I don't want to have to build a tank and then just fly into shots that you can't avoid no matter what you do. Because I don't find that to be fun at all. I don't find that at all interesting gameplay. And so I like where, you know, your ability to move determines... Your ability to get out of the way or fire determines whether or not you live or die. Instead of just, you know, well I spent three hours grinding to make all this combat steel. You know, so that I don't get, so that I can absorb a zillion, billion shots that I can't dodge. But, let's see what we have here. Okay, is this, is this, I can't see through that door, really? Is that because of my lights or what? Let me see. This kind of reminds me of, no, I don't think I've seen this one before. Okay, we're going to go through, I guess we're going to go through this way. And yeah, I know I brought thingies. I know I brought um, explosives, but I don't want to use them on the doors unless I have to. Wow, they duck now. Nice. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. And so I did change um, these guys up. They fire more frequently, do less damage, and are less accurate. And so basically it's just... it makes the combat feel more frantic when you there's bullets flying past you all over the place and i think it may have been those guys or it may have been the that's ana radiation okay it may have been the um the laser xerox instead that i did that with but yeah is this just a dead end here okay 
All right, apparently I am going the other way. So let's go through here. We're gonna get off the corner here. There we go, so that we're not getting shot as soon as the door opens. And yes, I know you can... That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool that he ducks like that. Let's see. I know you can use the drone to scout. I don't want to do that right now. Ah! The crosshair is too subtle. <laughs> I gotta say, my crosshair is a little too subtle. I can't tell where my crosshair is. Any... Nope. No thingies. Okay. Alright. We're gonna go back to the ship and heal up. Real quick here. So we did get the spawners. And I think we can bring the ship over by the door now. So yeah, with the with the drones doing more damage, I wanted the drones to actually be a threat to your ship. And they were... I mean, they're currently... They're not super bad. They are pretty good as far as... Um, if you just stand there like an idiot taking fire, you will end up uh, losing blocks, which is cool. I want it to be that way. Um, but yeah, I doubled it. I figured, you know, they should be... You sh if you face a drone, you should at least, like, lose a block or two here or there. Um, if they if they get any hits on you instead of... Wow, he's, like, right at the door, isn't he? Maybe I should do an explosive device on these. I should make some of them and bring them in next time. We will do that for the next POI. Yeah, that's a mechanoid right there, too. Those guys do some damage, so I need to be careful. Get back, get back. Stay back. Because, yeah, they do some damage. I know I've got heavy armor now. There we go. Come on. Now, the other thing is that they've made it so that they're hitting on you. Their likelihood to hit is based on how much you're moving and everything in your distance. Whoa! That was... Wow. That is really scary. No! That is really freaky and scary! <laughs> That's really cool, too. But scary. Okay, cool. I need to get their spawner, too. I need to get their spawner before they spawn back in. Ah! <laughs> Do not alt-tab out of the game. Come on. There we go. I just alt-tabbed out. Nice. Do not do that. I don't know if there's a thing above me waiting to shoot me. No, no sentries. Okay. Alright, just making sure. So there's our first loot there. Cool, I think this might be the core room. Uh, did they... Is it me? Did they make those opaque on purpose? Is that a new thing? Huh. Okay, well, we're gonna... Let me double check this. Yeah, we're gonna go heal. Is that a... No, that's just a block. Okay. It's just a texture on a block. That is really cool that they do that little thing. I like it. It's... It's... It's scary and... <laughs> kind of awesome. All right, we're gonna put that stuff in there. All right, we're gonna put this stuff in the cargo box, like this, and that. Okay, and we've now got more ammo than we started with, which is cool. Well, yeah, I can actually move at a pretty decent speed with this armor. Okay, I'm not gonna complain then. I like, I like the, uh, I like what the, the multi boosts do for that. Is it just me or is this, this thing kind of really obnoxious? I think they forgot to turn that off for that specific piece of glass or something. I don't know. Okay, there's the core. There they are. Oh, they're like ducking and everything now. There's one. Let's get the next guy. He's like taking cover kind of thing. That's actually pretty cool. Is it just the two of them? Just the two of us. <laughs> Okay, so let's see here. If you want to take out the core, what you can do here is you should be able to get, if you point at just, see, if you point at just the right spot here between these two, you can take out the core. And actually, I'm going to back up. There we go, right there. Although, you know what? I think if I back up that much, I'm not going to, I'm not going to hit it. So let's go like this. Let's go right up to it. There we go. All right, cool. So that's the core. And let's see, we can get nice pulse laser, tier two gener 133 combat steel. Wow. That's a lot for 
the first uh, POI. But yeah, it's a pretty good POI. Let me get the multi-tool so we can get this other stuff out of here. We can grab the fuel. So we'll do 30 and go, whoops, 30 and go like that. See if there's any oxygen in here. But yeah, let's get our, let's get our multi-tool now. Now that it's relatively safe, grab that. We can put that back. Okay, and let's see. Did I go through the other... Was there anything? I'll have to check if there was anything on the other way. But yeah, we're going to take some of this stuff. Tree blocks. Let's see. Neodymium. Nice. Advanced constructor. 100 Sathium. Wow, that's actually kind of a lot. <laughs> I think they need to... I think they probably need to tone down which of these containers are in these POIs. Because two reds, that seems like a whole lot. Okay, let's see. Are there any windows or anything that I can grab? I can grab... Whoops. This stuff. I want the... I'm going to grab the stuff that has the materials on it. So, the generators give you good stuff. And let me see. Is there anything upstairs? I don't think there is an upstairs, is there? Let's, let's go check upstairs. Here. We'll go back out here bring the ship up maybe let's see if we can jetpack up here yeah we can jetpack up here are these cargo boxes yeah they are okay all right we can do this iron and iron there we go lots of stuff cobalt that that might as well grab it there we go. And let me see if my looting works. Yep, it works. Okay, so we can loot all that stuff. Should probably take the ones on the top first, right? Nice, that's gold. There's some more cobalt, some planks and stuff, magnesium, copper. Okay. And let's see. Gold. Is that gold or sathium? I can't tell. There's some arrestrum. Let's see. That's sathium. It looks like gold to me. Okay. Let's see. Nice. And we'll see if there's more on the other side. It looks like there's a whole bunch of these. All right. Well, I'm going to loot through these, and I will sh I'll show you guys what I got when I get back. All right. Okay. We are done. Whoa. <laughs> Didn't want to do that. All right. <laughs> We're done. We're done looting here. I just wanted to... Uh, finish all that stuff up so I'll show you what I've got here in my in my uh, pack in my inventory I just wanted to double check and make sure there's not like a something up on the top here let's see if there's if there's anything hollow nope okay there's nothing hollow up here all right we're good okay and these are just regular steel right yeah that's just regular steel all right so what we've got is we have all of this stuff. So let me put all this back. So for those of you who wanted to know how I'm clicking that fast and looting that fast and all that stuff, um, there is a link at the end of this video. You'll be able to see there's a link to the um, the mouse macros that I have for. They're basically for GUI convenience and that kind of stuff. Um, so yeah, there you go. And that's all we got for that. And that's actually going to be it for episode nine. Join me in episode 10, and I think we're going to do another raid. Are those? I, I don't think those are golems. Yeah, see, they look like golems in the distance, and then they turn into trees. <laughs> but yeah, join me in episode 10. We're going to do another raid. We will go to, let me see, where is it? Up, up here somewhere? I think we can go up to these listening posts. Yeah, we'll go up to those listening posts and take them out. So yeah, join me in episode 10, and we will see you then. Later.